Hey, it's Nathan with crazymarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna check out the customer center that's available in ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, the customer center is where your customers can go to see all of their purchases that they've done through your business and access those purchases. They can also update their information, like their billing information. They can upgrade or downgrade or cancel subscriptions if you have a subscription product. Additionally, they can access the community from within the customer center. So basically, it serves as the back end for your customers so they can see everything they've done with your business so let's go ahead and check it out so here we are inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 and you can see customer center right here so we'll navigate over here and you can see that there's a link right there if you click this little gear icon you can go ahead and make a couple adjustments so you could change the headline so crazy I media customer center you can link to your privacy policy in terms of service you could also change the dashboard theme if you want to do that. I'm gonna leave it as the default. You can also show or decide what to show or not show. So like order history, billing information, subscription statuses. So again, if you have a subscription product, this lets the customer you know, cancel it on their own terms versus having to contact support and all that stuff. So this could be a good way to go ahead and have customers adjust their own accounts then we have the sign in screen. So you can adjust your, you know, your logo, your colors. So let me go ahead and do the crazy eye marketing orange here and save. And I'll put that one as gray and we'll see how it looks. And okay, so update customer center. So there's not a lot of functions you can really do here, but let's go ahead and actually, so when a customer buys a product, they'll receive an email that looks something like this. And you could go ahead and edit this email under your settings. So go to settings and then we have system emails here. And then we have like courses right here. So this is if somebody acts or a course enrollment notification. So you could update how your email looks right there. And then also community has emails that are similar. So sent to a new member when they are granted access to a community. But anyway, the point is the customer will receive an email with a link. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link. And then I'm going to open that link in a new browser and we'll go ahead and go to it. So you can see what the customer center looks like for your customers. And this is a great way to test things out. And so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and continue and it just sent me a magic link. So I'm gonna go check my email and here is my magic link. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link and I'll go ahead and paste it in this browser so it doesn't pop up in my default one. And it automatically logs me into my customer center. So now, you know, this is what your customers will see after they buy, you know, access to your course or your products. They'll get access to this customer center. I can see my course enrollments right here. So I'm enrolled in this main product course. I can also see my community memberships as well. So I have general chit chat and training. And then I also can see products that are available for me to purchase that I don't have access to yet. So I could, you know, go straight into my course from here and there's my course and yeah, it's ugly and everything, but that was just a demo course. You get the idea that I could go and access my stuff. Also, I could go ahead and pop open my communities and I could go ahead and start chatting. Hey, happy to be here. I'm so excited. And so on. So your customers can start participating and all that type of stuff in the community center. Coming on over here, there's also the my account. So this is where uh, your customers could update their subscription information if they have a subscription their courses and downloads. So there's our enrollment or our download. So if you delivered assets with your products, they could go ahead and access them right here. They have their invoice history that they can look at their payment methods. So they could go ahead and update this payment method or add new payment methods. So this is really nice in case, you know, their credit card expires, then they can go ahead and update it. And their su subscription could stay live their addresses so they could go ahead and add a new address or update their addresses if they're you know if you're shipping stuff to them and phone numbers and also they could go ahead and start a community profile so they could update all their social media links and stuff like that so that way when they're over here participating in the community and posting things or chatting then other people can see their social media accounts and they could visit them over there so this is what the community center looks like and i just wanted to do a quick overview of it to point out that it's here and how you can just demo it so that way you can see what your customers are seeing and make sure that it's doing everything you want now i do want to point out that there are options like under products for example 
if you want to show them inside of your community center. So let me come to, we'll do downsell product here. And you see this, os this option for customer center. So if I tick this option, this downsell product will show up in the customer center. So we'll update the product here. And then I'm gonna come back to my logged in account and we'll go ahead and refresh it real quick. And let's go to dashboard. And then if I scroll down, I now see available products and I have this downsell product right here that is visible within the customer center. And they could go ahead and view the product and purchase it straight from here if they want access to it. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. Additionally, there's one other thing I wanna show you when it comes to courses. So let's go to one of our courses and navigate to courses. So let's go ahead and put the main product course and come to settings here and scroll on down. So do we want to show this in the learning hub? So the learning hub is also part of the customer center. So we can turn this on. We could go ahead and show this to non-members. So if somebody has not signed up for this course, well then it would show up and we could then link them to the sales page so that they could go ahead and join the course. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in www.crazymarketing right here. Even though it's not an actual sales page or funnel, but just, just so you can see where it happens, this is dependent upon the course and then redirect to full course will leave as the default. So anyway, we'll come down here to update course. And now let's go back to the community center and we'll scroll on up and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh real quick. We should see something about like training hub or learning hub pop up right here. Let's refresh. And there we go. So now we have Learning Hub. And now I can see the different courses within the Learning Hub. Let me add one more just for the sake of example. So come over here, Courses. I'm gonna add my ClickFunnels 2.0 course to the Learning Hub as well. And back to Settings and scroll on down. Show in Learning Hub, yes. Show to non-members, yes. And we'll put this link as google.com just so you can see what happens. And we'll leave everything else the default. And we'll go ahead and do Update, update Course go back out to the Learning Hub, and we'll go ahead and refresh it. And now I can see the ClickFunnels 2.0 course in here. Now you notice that the main product course is open, and that's because I'm already a member of the main course and could go ahead and access it. Whereas ClickFunnels 2.0 course, it says upgrade to join. So now if I click this, it should bring me to Google because that's what I set it to do. But ideally you would set it to a sales page that sells your ClickFunnels 2.0 course and that way they could access it. And you see right there that it did bring me to Google, so it is working. So I just wanted to show you some other adjustments you could go ahead and make in your customer center, primarily dealing with adding or making courses viewable by activating that learning hub. And I just wanted to show you that it's out here and make sure that you know how to access it and view it. So that way you can make sure that it functions properly for your customer. And that's really it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or please head over to crazyairmarketing.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of the day.